वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंसिडेंट मैट्रिक्स एंड रिड्यूस्ड इंसिडेंट मैट्रिक्स इन दिस वीडियो एंड बेस्ड ऑन रिड्यूस्ड इंसिडेंट मैट्रिक्स यू कैन बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल ट्रीज इन द ग्राफ दैट्स वाई रिड्यूस्ड इंसिडेंट मैट्रिक्स इज वेरी एसेंशियल so after watching this video you can be able to solve any problem based on incident matrix and reduced incident matrix and that i'll explain you by examples so that will be more clear so let us see first what is incident matrix so my dear students incident matrix that explains you arrangement in between nodes and branches and it gives you information about connection of branch and direction of branch i'll show you how it gives information based on connection of branch and direction of branch that matrix is there with order of n cross b where n is nodes and b is branches and whenever you form matrix at that time this information is very essential you should note down that you will have to write plus 1 when branch is emerging from the node and you will have to write minus 1 when branch is getting enclosed to the node and you will have to write zero when branch is not connected with node so let me explain you that by practical example so here we are having one graph you can observe and for this graph let us make incident matrix so when you want to form incident matrix first of all you will have to write down nodes which are there in the graph so here you see we are having four nodes 1 2 3 4 so let me write 1 2 3 4 which are the nodes of this graph and horizontally we write branches now if you see here we are having six branches a b c d e f so let me write that a b c d e and f now we will form incident matrix as per nodes with respect to branches now as i have said that you should be writing plus 1 when branch is emerging from the node and we will have to write minus 1 when branch is getting enclosed to the node and if branch is not connected with the node then you will have to write zero so let us check it for branch a so you see branch a is connected in between 1 and 3 and it is emerging from node 1 so that should be plus 1 with node 1 and it is getting enclosed to the node 3 so there should be minus 1 with node 3 so node 1 is having 1 and node 3 is having minus 1 and 2 and 4 are not connected with branch a so that will be 0 let us see branch b so branch b is connected in between 1 and 4 it is emerging from node 4 so with node 4 there should be plus 1 and it is getting enclosed to the node 1 so with node 1 there will be minus 1 and 2 and 3 are not connected with branch b so there should be 0 with branch c it is connected in between 1 and 2 it is emerging from node 1 so node 1 is having plus 1 and node 2 is having minus 1 and 3 4 are not connected with branch c so there will be 0 with branch d you see it is connected in between 3 and 4 it is emerging from node 3 so there will be plus 1 with node 3 and it is getting enclosed to the node 4 so there will be minus 1 with node 4 and 1 and 2 are not connected with branch d so there will be zero let us see what is happening with branch e so branch e is connected in between node 2 and node 4 it is emerging from node 2 you see and it is getting enclosed to the node 4 so node 2 is having plus 1 and node 4 is having minus 1 and 1 and 3 are not connected with branch e so you can say there will be zero now with branch f you see it is emerging from node 4 and it is getting enclosed to the node 2 so 4 is having plus 1 and 2 is having minus 1 and 1 and 3 are not connected with branch f so i can say there will be zero with 1 and 3 let me give you one more example of incident matrix so for that again 
I have one very interesting graph for which we will identify incident matrix in which we are having four nodes 1, 2, 3, 4. So let me write nodes over here first. So vertically we will be writing nodes those are 1, 2, 3 and 4 and horizontally we will be writing branches and you can see branches are A, B, C, D, E, F. Now if you see the connections then for branch A it is there in between 1 and 3. It is emerging from node 1 so there will be plus 1 with node 1 and it is getting enclosed to the node 3 so there will be minus 1 and 2 and 4 are not connected so that should be 0. Now you observe here this branch B that is connected in between 1 and 2 and it is emerging from node 2 so there will be plus 1 with node 2 and it is getting enclosed to the node 1 so there will be minus 1 with node 1 and 3 and 4 are not connected so there will be 0. With branch C it is there in between 1 and 4. It is emerging from 1 so 1 is having plus 1 and it is getting enclosed to the 4 so 4 is having minus 1 and 2 and 3 are not connected so there will be 0. Branch D is there in between 2 and 4. It is emerging from 4 so 4 is having plus 1. It is getting enclosed to the 2 so 2 is having minus 1 and 1 and 3 are not connected with branch D so there will be 0. If you see branch E that is there in between 2 and 3 emerging from 2 and close to the 3 means 2 is having plus 1 and 3 is having minus 1 and 1 and 4 are not connected so that will be 0. If you see branch F it is there in between 3 and 4 emerging from 3 and close to the 4 so 3 is having plus 1 and 4 is having minus 1 and you can see here 1 and 2 are not connected so that will be 0. So this are the incident matrix. I think now it is clear to you these are incident matrix. You can observe its order is nodes cross branches. So nodes are 4 cross branches are 6 right and this is also our incident matrix that is also nodes cross branches here also nodes are 4 and branches are 6 so that is how we can form incident matrix now my dear students you just see this calculation carefully in that if you observe here then you see algebraic sum over here that will be always 0 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 that will be 0 you see minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 that will be 0 so addition is always 0 that you can say and same thing that happens with this also you can check it out so you will be observing that addition of value branch wise that will be always 0. So what it means if you remove one row then also you can easily find the values of that row like let us say I am removing one row over here. So if I want to identify what are the coefficients over here then that will be as per total sum should be equals to 0. So even if I remove one row over here you see 1 plus 0 minus 1 so this should be 0 this should be also 0 but here you see sum is 1 plus 0 plus 0 and if I don't have this value over here then I can say here there should be minus 1 so that total sum will be 0. So what I want to say is here one extra row is there in this incident matrix calculation and you can say that is a redundancy right. So now you need to understand reduced incident matrix and in reduced incident matrix what we do is we remove randomly one row right from incident matrix. So reduced incident matrix is incident matrix with one row is removed. Since sum of the elements in each row is 0, if we remove one row of matrix then also we can determine the value of that row by other rows that is what I have already explained you. So here in reduced incident matrix all you can do is you can remove 
any row from incident matrix and as one row is redundant we are removing that here rank of the matrix will be n minus 1 previously with incident matrix rank was n but here we are removing one row so rank of the matrix will be n minus 1 so you will be observing reduce incident matrix will be having order that is n minus 1 cross b with incident matrix that is n cross b but with reduced incident matrix it will be n minus 1 cross b now my dear students this is very essential that how ident how we can identify total number of trees in the graph so once you have reduced incident matrix then by having multiplication of ar into ar transpose we can have one matrix and for that if you determine determinant of that then we can have total number of trees in the graph so that is what very essential which we calculate from reduced incident matrix right my dear students in next video i'll explain you how to calculate practical example based on how many number of possible trees are there in given graph so where what i'll do is i'll consider two problems by which we can solve many things based on this understanding which is having relevance with incident matrix reduce incident matrix and total number of trees in graph. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.